Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel of the girl with the perfect face for the radio. I just came back from today's Wings for Life World Run. I took part in the race in Vienna, the capital of Austria. And I did a little vlogging thing to show you guys how the whole day went and how, you know, my whole preparation for the whole event, for the race went. And I will add that after I explain to you what it is about. The Wings for Life World Run took place for the sixth time now. It is a charity event. The rules are very simple. You sign up for a run. You can choose from event runs. Those are the ones you might watch in TV or, you know, just like marathons or things like that, where you have a starting line and where all of the participants get their starting numbers and things like that. Or you can take place wherever you want via an app or you can take place in an organized app run where you have less infrastructure than in one of those event runs. But you know, you are still running with other people and there are still people watching you and applauding and cheering you on. So I decided to be part in Vienna's run in the whole organized thing because I love that. I love the vibe there. I was one of 13,500 starters in Vienna and one of 120,000 starters in the world. Um, how it works is a little bit different than in other races because all the people start at the same time. Wherever you are, it's the exact same time you're starting. That meant for people who started in Australia, for example, that they had to run during the night. Um, it was 1 p.m. in Vienna and it was, I think, you know, it was sunrise in Florida when they started. That's different to other races. And um, also, you start and 30 minutes after the starting signal was given, so-called catcher cars are leaving. They are driving a certain pace, the pace increases every 30 minutes. And as soon as you get passed by a catcher car, as soon as you're caught technically, you are out of the race. So last man standing, last woman standing are the winners. This year the winners made it to about 65 kilometers. I don't even know what that's in miles. But first, I would like to show you how my weekend and how the whole preparations for the run went. Hi guys, welcome back. I just arrived in my little hometown because here I will go for a last training run before I'm taking part in Sunday's Wings for Life World Run. So keep your fingers crossed that everything goes the way I plan it because I do not want to hurt myself before the big day. And as you can tell, I am excited. And um, yeah, that's about it for now. Tomorrow's the big day. Yesterday I ran 8.2 kilometers and 56 minutes. That was a really nice run. It was not too exhausting. And um, I feel quite sure that I'm due like eight at least tomorrow when the Wings for Life world run is taking place. Right now I am on my way to get me some new running pants because mine are quite loose by now. And of course I do not want to risk that I'm losing my pants tomorrow while running. That would be very, very embarrassing as I'll be surrounded by 13,500 runners, a lot of spectators and, you know, there are cameras and everything. So that's what I'm doing today. Hi guys. I wanted to give you a short pre-competition or pre-Wings for Life world run update. I am back in Vienna now. I spent last night at the countryside at my parents' house to visit them and to go for a last training run before the big race is starting. That was a very relaxed run. I could talk during the whole time, so I'm quite confident that if I'm keeping that pace, I will be able to do like eight kilometers tomorrow in the run. 
So for those who are not doing metric system, that is around five miles. So, you know, if I'm able to have a good start and to get ahead of the pack in time, um, the catcher car will not get me for like an hour and eight minutes. So that's the plan. And maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do a little bit more than 8K tomorrow. Also, I bought a new running pant. That one, it's just a very regular basic three-quarter length running pant and I bought it because mine um, is a little bit loose by now so I was kind of scared that it might you know slide all the way down while I'm running and that would be very embarrassing um, the thing is I bought that one before I checked the weather forecast for tomorrow and that one is not really good because weather forecast states that we will get 9 degrees Celsius tomorrow and rain. 9 degrees Celsius is about 42 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can imagine that is a little bit chilly and if it's raining I'm not sure how I'll be able to cope with that. I mean the run itself is not the problem because you're active, you're moving. I'm always sweating and when I'm running and you know how it is like your body heats up and, and it's okay but the thing is you have to be there in time you have to wait in your starting position and there's entertainment you have to pick up your starting number and you know it's just you have to be there ahead of time and I'm not really looking forward to stand there in the rain waiting for the starting sign. So this is reality. That's what's going on outside of my window. It's raining, it's pouring, it is super ice cold, it's freezing. So I decided to run in long gear today, even though I bought brand new running shorts yesterday. But we have, as I told you, it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit or around 10 degrees Celsius. So I'm not going to do that. I, in fact, I will run with my long running shirt and my long running pants and I will also wear an additional jacket to that. And yeah, I put lipstick on because, you know, at least I would like to look kind of okay, even though I will be drenched and soaked. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's what I always did back at school. When I knew I would fail, for example, in like math exams or something like that, I at least put lipstick on. So I will keep you updated. <music> dark outside it's night as you might be able to tell I'm not wearing any makeup so you also get the full eyebrow update here so that's how my eyebrows look if I don't do anything um, to them and with them I am wearing this year's world run shirt it is a medium size it is a size 38 European size and I love that it fits me so that was a nice surprise. The whole race was a great experience. I made it to 12.4 kilometers. That is 7.7 .7 miles. So I was able to escape the catcher cars for like one hour and 20 minutes. And all I wanted to do, like my goal was five miles. 
and I exceeded my goal. So I did around, it's 50% more than I planned to. But you know, the vibe was good. The whole feeling was great. Everything was just great. I loved it. The only downside of the whole thing was that it was pouring. It was raining during the whole race. It was raining from when I opened my eyes this morning. It's still raining. So that was, you know, that's a little bit annoying because usually there's some sort of party going on after the race and you have all those warm ups before the race. Um, of course, due to the rain, that was just not possible, but there were app runs in Austria um, where the participants <laughs> had to run through the snow. So that's about that. Um, yeah, so I love the whole experience. I already signed up for next year's Wings for Life World. But, well, I, I did my pre-registration. It's going to take place on the 3rd of May 2020 and I would like to be a part. My goal shifted a little bit. Next year I would like to do 13 kilometers or 8 miles maybe. Um, you know, it's not really about the whole... It's not about the endurance. It's just about how long you can keep your pace to escape them, so I don't really know how to train for that. I, I'm really, I don't know. <laughs> but it was great fun. I can recommend it to everybody. So I will do the whole editing shebang now, post it now. I don't know when you got when you guys are going to see it, but I would like to post my weight loss update tomorrow. So I will do that now. So see you soon. Oh, oh, if you liked what you saw, if you like the channel of the girl with the perfect face for the radio, make sure to like, click the subscribe button, the bell notification, everything. You know how YouTube works. Thanks a lot and see you soon.